happening now, a breaking news update for you. A plane landing in a field near US 27 in Brunson Road. We told you about it at the top of our newscast. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Jeff Newmeyer has been covering this since it happened. He joins us live with new information. He's standing by with a public information officer from the Allen County Sheriff's Department. Jeff? Yeah, Todd, we do have some good news. We can tell you that no one was badly hurt in this uh, plane crash that uh, happened here in the backyard of a home off Brunson Road, southeast of Fort Wayne. Uh, Corporal Adam Griffith, Allen County Sheriff's Department, joining me now. Uh, fill us in a little bit on what happened here. Uh, just after 4 o'clock today, the Fort Wayne Airport Authority notified our agency of a potential plane crash in our jurisdiction. Um, our officers responded. We began getting 911 calls, and the plane ended up in the backyard here on Brunson Road. Uh, both occupants of the plane were treated for minor injuries. Uh, they, were, they were able to deploy a parachute for the plane uh, just over a thousand feet and get it to safely land or as safely as possible. Yeah. So they reported uh, there was a call into the airport about some issues with the plane. Right? right. They reported that they were about eight miles southeast of the Fort Wayne International Airport and they were having mechanical problems of some, of some type. Yeah, now tell us a little bit about what we know about what where they were headed or where, where from and where they were going. What we've learned so far is that they were headed from the state of Virginia to South Bend, Indiana for the Notre Dame football game tomorrow. And they had some mechanical issues in Finley, Ohio. They were able to move on. Everything was great. And they headed this way and started experiencing more mechanical issues. I understand the pilot has actually been speaking with uh, the Federal Aviation Administration to try to help fill them in on Right. At this point, we're assisting the FAA. The, the pilot has already spoken to them. Uh, the Fort Wayne Airport Authority has also been a big help for us out here. I want to actually turn, have you turn around, Adam, and you can stay with me here. But that, that's the pilot that's uh, the gentleman that's just off to the, to the left of the plane. Right? Correct. In the white shirt. That is the pilot. They were both male, or I'm sorry, they were both adults, a male and a female. Yeah. Uh, this outcome could have been much worse. It could have been tragic, and everybody is very lucky to to have this outcome. question that comes up is, uh, what, if you know, or when was the last time we had a plane crash in Allen County, if you know? I don't know. One of the officers on scene said that we had a plane go down by our reserve center last year, and that was uh, the last one that we could recall. Okay. All right. But again, this parachute, I'm going to, you mentioned this parachute right over here in this area here, that's what deployed again about a thousand feet up? That's correct. That's what the pilot informed us. Adam Griffith, thank you for your time. Thank we you. appreciate that update. So again, uh, any time a plane crash is not a good outcome, but it's very much better in the, in the sense, Tom, that no one badly injured in this uh, crash. Uh, a man and woman headed from Virginia to the Notre Dame football game tomorrow. They go down here in the backyard of a home off Brunson Road, southeast of Fort Wayne. And again, the pilot, who is okay, talking with the FAA, trying to fill them in on what happened here. Yeah, like you said, this could have been a lot worse. It's good to see that pilot up and walking around. And if I know Notre Dame fans, he may even make it to the game yet. All right. Thank you very much for that live report. Yeah.